Mopoid said that De Kitchen has speaking about how Asani Knights was purchased just before the December 6, 2019 general election. From there, the unhappy minister of death has become unethical, corrupt, greedy and classless. She said Asani is a living example how purchased laborites are zombified by Tomate Scarrett's dirty money. Asani Knights even got vexed with his uncle Banker Corbo, because Banker Corbo warned Asani about his relationship with Tomate Scarrett. The helper said long he has not seen Asani Knights with the black watch that he got from Gardakin as a kickback. Mopoid said some years ago, the apron minister, Asani Knights took the Tomate Scarrett's grabberment before the court for money owed to him as a contracted engineer. She said then just before the 2019 general election, Asani Knights and his wife Bossy Nicole had a bad experience with their baby at Demorgapital. So Asani vented on Facebook by posting, to the responsible authority dot 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 the new hospital infrastructure may be fine but if the service is archaic then we still have problems. How dare you tell me leave my child because the mother is there now. Might as well tell both of us leave the country. Sick. She said but as soon as Asani Knights was purchased to become a senator and minister in Dalaba Cabinet after the 2019 elections, he took down the post. The helper said not how to bird put down Lil Willie Tony's lazy post for DeVette's firm Sulfuric Post. Mopoid said that God don't like ugly. Three years later Asani Knights was made Minister of Death in charge of De Same Morgapital. His wife, Bossy Nicole was also made the Director of Engineering Services at De Same Morgapital. She said but under their watch, the archaic service has become worse. De Morgapital is unwelcoming, depressing and empty. De Helper said that Asani Knights is a cheap, pompous, arrogant, greedy, kickback specialist. Just how Dwol Shakira is loud, potty mouth, vermin, low tau, dishwashing specialist. De Chef said that this lab a government did until U.S. authorities are deporting our students from the United States. Because of unpaid tuitions, our students couldn't register for their classes, so their F1 records are being terminated. De Helper said but F.S. Tall Edwards could get money to buy a house in Florida for her daughter to stay while she attends university. De Chef said that the email to the students at Midwestern State University says, Your F1 SEVIS record has been terminated for authorized early withdrawals of today, September 15, 2023. You are advised to depart the U.S. within 15 days. She said that Tomate Scarrett, Money Boney and the rest of De Laba Grabberment are wicked and heartless to allow that level humiliation and embarrassment to happen to our students. The helper said but the parents of these same deported students are at their homes in the heat because of no electricity screaming, Laba is still the best choice. The assistant chef said on December 29, 2023 the Laba Grabberment signed a contract with Slowboat Watson Conoville of C and J Electrical Services for the lighting of the Windsor Park Fate Stadium. She said that it was a three-months project to install six new poles, light towers at a price of $2.4 million. But up to now, Windsor Park is more dark than the 10 years, $300 million geothermal project. The helper said and Tomate Scarrett still gave the Windsor Park's backup generator to 630 DUMBLEC. The assistant chef said that nine months later Showboat Watson cannot tell Dominicans why he has failed to start the three-months lighting project. She said that purchased Minister Senator Oscar and P.S. Senior Whitelist need to tell us what happened to the $2.4 million. They need to tell us what is the history of Slowboat Watson and C&J Electrical Services. The helper said just how we need to know if Tomate Scarrett and his dunce wife are still planning to begin the Botanic Gardens Destruction Project in April 2024. Mopoid said that she wants to know how greedy Missy is the CPO when she should be in London as the British High Commissioner. De Chef said that she wants to know if Ayatollah Charlo is moving to his mansion in Clifton after he leaves the White House. She wants to also know when Ayatollah Charlo is going to finish pay contractor Abel for the house that he built for Charlo at Elmshaw. The assistant chef said that she wants to know if last night's robbery at Mam's supermarket in Massars is the new trend in the increase in criminal activities because of the extremely high rate of poverty. The helper said that he wants to know if Dunce Mel is getting her stress relieved by her stress reliever to Atlanta Toro.